I would like to introduce to 10Base T1S, and I want to moderate the topic with some nice images. So even in the most remote mountain hut, you see Ethernet IP-based networking is everywhere. So Ethernet provides various file layer options and proven software stacks. So bits and ones, you know, safety and security are essential. So you can make use and reuse of safety and security frameworks. Well-designed services manage complexity. So the, the service-oriented architecture unifies communication. And last but not least, innovative applications have higher data rates. So legacy technologies run out of steam. What applications are we targeting with 10Base T1S? This is a selection and the sequence is arbitrary. So we are targeting hands-free microphones, active speakers, noise vibration halfness applications, the area of parking ECUs that use radar or ultrasonic. We are targeting engine ECU, body ECUs, active suspension systems, steering braking systems, charging units for electric cars, and traffic sign recognition, and many more. So why, why Ethernet, you might ask? Because there are a lot of legacy technologies out there. When you have a look at the legacy technologies, you have technology-specific files, and you have technology-specific software stacks. So when you want to change the speed grade, you need to change both the file and the software stack. Ethernet comes with speed grade specific files, but the software stack is always the same, so it can be reused. So when you want to change the speed, then you only have to change the file, and you can keep the software stack. But there is 100 base T1 out there, so why don't use 100 base T1? The big thing is that 10 base T1S enables multi-drop. Multi-drop means a bus line. This is what you can see in the image on the right. So you don't need switches. You have less cables and less power. Let's have a look at an example. So imagine when, when you have a system that needs higher bandwidth than can, can SD can provide on a shared medium, then you will end up having several point-to-point -point links as you can see in the picture on the left. The same system with 10 base T1S you can see on the right. So you see we only have one bus line instead of several point-to-point -point links. When we now count the number of files on the left, it's eight. On the right, it's five. So 10 base T1S has a fewer number of files. When we count the number of connectors at the ECU, on the left, we have four. On the right, we have one. So we have fewer connectors, but we also have less connector space on the ECU when we use 10-base T1S. 
When we look at the cabling, so on the left we have four stub links, four stub cables. On the right we have one bus line. So it's less cabling and the bus line is, is easier to extend and to scale when you want to grow the system. The bandwidth on the left, in case of CANFD, we have four times two megabit per second. On the right, we have 10 megabit per second with 10 base T1S. So this means we have more bandwidth. The legacy technology CANFD on the left is not an Ethernet based technology. 10 base T1S, of course, is. So it's much easier to integrate 10 base T1S in the overall Ethernet architecture in the car. This especially means when it comes to gateway. With CANFD, you always need a gateway to translate the messages. With 10 base T1S, a simple switch can do the job. So let's focus on scalability. In the example, we have an ECU and we have one bus line in the front and another bus line in the rear. Connected to the bus lines are the ultrasonic and the radar sensors. So when we look at the ECU, you see that there is the minimum required connector space with the bus lines. Also, the bus lines can be easily expanded by adding additional sensor units. And very important, assembly options don't change the central ECU. So what about standardization? 10 base T1S is currently under specification by the IEEE P802.3CG 10 megabit per second single pair Ethernet task force. Drafts are available, so please visit the IEEE website. The timeline in version 2 plans for a September 2019 standards board approval. Here also please see the IEEE website. 